All right, welcome. And this is Mike Simmons, and in this video, I am going to show you how to display your videos from your YouTube channel, or anybody's channel for that matter, on your WordPress site. It's a real easy way to do it. There's a plugin that I just uh, discovered today. If you notice right here, this is my WPHowTos.com website, and over on the right in the sidebar, I have basically ba all my videos displaying from my uh, YouTube channel, one of my YouTube channels, and it displays it displays them in uh, the, the order that you've uh, actually made them. So this is my latest video actually right here. And you can play the videos right here in the sidebar. Really cool way to get your videos, uh, display your videos on your site, and also to embed your videos on your Word, WordPress website so people can actually can come to my my wphowtos.com and see all, basically all the videos that I have so far. I don't know if I'm going to, as I keep making videos, I don't know if I'm going to display them all on here, but it'll have my latest videos anyway. So how do you do this? Well, let's just go to our dashboard and go to plugins and click on add new. I'm assuming you know how to log into your WordPress dashboard, of course. Once you're on your dashboard and click to add new under plugins, we'll just do a search for YouTube channel gallery. Now, I've already got this plugin installed, but we'll see it says installed right there. But we'll take a look at the details real quick. It says it hasn't been tested with the current version of WordPress, but it seems to work fine uh, to me, so, so I'm recommending it. So, of course, you'll need to install it and then activate it. Once you do that, there's a couple different ways you can display your videos on your site. First of all, over under Appearance, we'll go to Widgets, and there'll be a little widget over here called YouTube Channel Gallery, and then you'll just, of course, drag it over to your sidebar. I've already got it up there, and there's a few different settings you'll need to take a look at. Of course, you put your title right here, whatever you want to display. Now it says Feed. Now you have a couple different choices there. You can put the your user feed or your playlist feed. And of course it can be anybody's user or playlist. It doesn't have to be your own. And here is the user ID. I'm using my uh, user channel ID. So the channel ID or user ID is on your channel. Of course you'll have this and this and then user. And then after the forward slash that'll be your username or your user ID. And if you want to have a playlist, of course, you'll select Playlist, and then you'll have to put in your playlist ID number. And a playlist has a, it's right here. Here's a URL from a playlist of mine. It'll have a bunch of different numbers here, and then after it equals PL, and then all the numbers after that will be a playlist ID. I'm just using my user feed and the cache time right here. That just helps everything load faster for having your cache on there. You can show the uh, player above the thumbnails like I have right here. Or you can just uh, not show the player at all. You have a widescreen or four, four times three ratio. Light or dark uh, background here. I'm using the light background. Progress bar and all this sort of thing. And you also have a choice on the thumbnails. Number of videos to show the thumbnail width and the aspect ratio and the thumbnail columns three you can add no follow which is something to do with SEO so there you go now there's another way you can also display your videos now let's go to I'm gonna make a new page on my site you can display it in a post or a page on your site too so I'll just make a quick page to display it this way and there's a couple short, short codes you can use right here is displaying your user feed. Here I'll put these short codes down below in my uh, the video description so you can use them right there. You can also display the YouTube video title and description. Here's a short code for that. Now you can do that on the plugin also uh, by checking a little box there I forgot to show you but you can look at your you can look at the widget area and figure it out for yourself I'm sure. So if you go we'll go to a new page and I'll go and copy that short code. I'll just paste it in there and we'll see what what happens. Okay, we'll take a look at the page and see how it came out. See now on the page it displays them in a large a larger uh, display area here. So very cool actually. This is a really cool plugin. I like it. There you go. YouTube channel gallery plugin. Easy to use and a great way to display YouTube videos on your site. Hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, 
please give it a thumbs up and a favorite and subscribe to my channel also. And as always, keep on keeping on.